Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Jordine. If you're new here, today's video is basically a full face of Kosas. So I picked up the new Cloud Set powder and I wanted to basically use the Kosas products that I had in this video. So that's what we're going to be doing. So if you want to see how I got this look, then keep on watching. The first thing we're going to be starting with is the Kosas Tinted Face Oil. It retails for $42 and basically it's supposed to just help to even out your skin tone. It has a blend of um, oils in it to help, you know, protect your skin. So skincare benefits in it and it's light coverage. I have it in the shade 8.7. I'm just going ahead and shaking it up to mix the pigments in. And I just popped a little bit in my hand. That's how I'm going to apply it with my fingers. So this is what my skin is looking like. No primer on, just a face oil. It has a nice radiance and glow to it. Um, very lightweight. Light coverage. I like the light coverage though. It's not too much. It just gives a nice even tone. So next thing I'm going in with is the Revealer Super Creamy Concealer from Kosas. This retails for $28 and I have it in the shade 8. It is a medium coverage and it's supposed to basically act as a concealer eye cream and spot treatment and one that visibly brightens and helps to reveal better looking skin it's good for all skin types and it has caffeine and pink algae since the tint is so lightweight i'm gonna put a little bit of concealer on i'm not gonna use too much today because we don't want to see that obvious difference in coverage so there we go but i do want some coverage on my under our area and a little bit of definition. what we look like with concealer so just additional coverage but still pretty lightweight on the complexion so the next thing that we're going to be trying out i'm very excited about it's the new kosas cloud set powder so this is the unicarton that it comes in this little cute box and i have it in the shade silky it's described as a sheer tan deep and this is the component that the powder comes in it's cute is this clear or is it like yeah it's like a translucent component. So the cloud set retails for $34. It comes in 10 shades. Um, it's described as a super soft, sheer, setting and smooth and baked powder with skincare that sweeps away shine. Feels like nothing, but looks like everything. Ooh, okay. Has bamboo stem extract to absorb excess oil, leaving the skin looking matte and feeling soft. Passion fruit leaf extract, which reduces the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles, and Chinese peony, which minimizes pores. This is what the shade Silky looks like. Hopefully, it doesn't take away from the brightness um, that the concealer created, but we'll see. I'm gonna use the Wayne Goss Artist Medium Brush. Oh, yeah. Alright, I'm just gonna dust a little bit under my eyes. So this kind of taken away from the brightness. It's pretty smooth though. And I'm just gonna dust the remainder on my T-zone. And then I'm just gonna pop a little bit here, just so we can see how it clings to the skin. The color is pretty good though for my overall complexion. It's pretty. I don't feel like it looks overly matte.
Oh, that's really pretty. This is what the powder looks like, you guys. Very smooth. I think my under eyes look really good too. We'll see how it um it holds it throughout the day though, but for the most part, I feel like my skin looks pretty blurred and I just had on a tint. Okay, okay, go sis. Yeah, I'm, I'll definitely keep you guys updated on how this wears. Next, we're gonna be going in with the Sensual Bronzer. Um, this is in the shade Deep. And the bronzer looks like this. I've used it before on my channel. So, um, soft glow to it. So this is my complexion so far with all the Kosas items. It looks nice. It looks very smooth, very natural. I'm impressed at the moment, very impressed. Um, I am gonna go in with a little bit of blush though because I want some blush. I'm gonna be going in with the LYS Beauty Passion Cream Blush. She's in a rougher number four. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows and a little bit of eye makeup off camera and then I'll come back and show you the mascara from Kosas. The next thing we're gonna be going in with, you guys, is the Big Clean Mascara. So I just went ahead and just put some of the bronzer on my eyes. I like the way that it looks. It's just this warm like color all over my eyes. It's very pretty. Um, but it retails for $26. It's a clean mascara that gives instantly big fluffy lashes to help support the natural lash growth and repair cycle because it has castor oil, vitamin B5, and biotin tripeptides. Okay. This is the mascara wand. It's pretty big. So let's see. So that's one coat of mascara. Oh, it looks pretty nice. It gives nice separation. One coat on both lashes. All right, I'm gonna do another coat just to see how much volume we can get. All right, two coats of the mascara. I like this mascara. I thought this was gonna look clumpy. Based off the wand, I thought I was gonna get some clumps and that it was gonna be too wet, but this formula is like right in between. It's not too dry, but it's not too wet. It's like perfect. And it gives a lot of separation, but still volume. Ooh, I like it. And it's holding my lashes up really nicely. So we'll see. Hopefully it doesn't fall um, throughout the day. But this looks really nice. I like it. I like it. Okay. I'm gonna do the bottom lashes. This is what everything is looking like, you guys. I actually really like how this look is. I just want to mention, I'm not sure if you can see, that my under eyes are creasing a bit already. So keep that in mind. Um... Yeah, I'm going to work, so I don't want it to crease. I'm annoying. I'm gonna go with a little bit of my Charlotte Tilbury. I'm sorry, Charlotte is not clean, but I'm gonna press a little bit of that under my eyes. This is number three. Yeah, that's a little bit better. Um, this, the powder was smooth, don't get me wrong. It just wasn't holding in the concealer like I needed it to. But the remainder of my face, I feel like it looks really nice and it's beautiful. So since I'm already up close, let me just go ahead and put on my lip. I'm going to be using the lip oils from Kosas. I like them a lot. So I have three different shades. These were the minis that launched last year. But I have this like pinky color, which is called Dip. And then this is Jellyfish the Clear. But I think I'm going to go on with Dip since we have on the pink blush. And I already had on some lip balm. I had on the lip oil from LIS. <gasps> That's a pretty color. All right, so this is my finished look. 
So overall, I really like how this look turned out. Very natural, very minimal, very skin focused, which I'm happy about. I think it looks very beautiful. So far, my favorite products are the powder. I love the bronzer too, but new things that we tried. The powder and the mascara are giving it to me. The powder is very blurring, but it doesn't take away from my radiance that I like for my normal to dry skin. I'll keep you updated on how this powder wears throughout the day just to see if it gets cakey or if it enhances any texture but so far i think it looks really good i'm not going to use any setting spray so i'll keep you guys updated but that's going to be it for today's video if you're interested in anything i will leave them all linked down below if you're new here hi i'm jordine i would love for you to go ahead and subscribe to my channel i'd really appreciate it and if you like the video go ahead and give it a thumbs up i'll see you guys in the next video bye